Hello, my name is Ellie and I'm a physiotherapist here at Fine Form Physio and happy hump day. Today we're going to go through a mat pilates series that's going to focus on your core and working through some back mobility. So it's great for those who have been working from home, um, sitting at a desk all day, school students um, or anyone looking to just improve their general health. So we'll get started and we're going to start in our bridge. So if you remember from last session, you're going to be lying down on your mat, hands by your side, feet hip width apart and knees bent like so. You're going to start with that pelvic clock, that initiation, rolling from six up to 12 and then imagining that you're a string of pearls, pulling up one pearl at a time until you're resting on your shoulder blades. From here, you're going to go heavy in the chest and you're going to roll back down one pearl at a time until your pelvis hits the mat. We're going to go again, rolling up to 12 o'clock, lifting from the hips first, coming up through the lower back, the mid back, resting on your shoulder blades, extending nice and long through the thighs so that you get a nice stretch through the front of the thighs, going heavy through the chest to lower the chest down, mid back lower back and then down into the pelvis. So again, rolling that pelvis up, pushing down through the heels as you lift up to rest on your shoulder blades and then going heavy in the chest as you lower back down to the mat. Let's do that again, rolling back, lifting the pelvis, the lower back, mid back, up onto the shoulder blades, then going heavy in the chest Lowering back down. Rolling back up, pushing down through the heels, through your hands, going heavy in the chest, rolling back down. Imagining that string of pearls being pulled up from the mat. You're lifting up one pearl at a time, and then you're going to drop back down. We're going to go for two more here, rolling the pelvis up to 12, lifting the pelvis, the lower back, mid back, up into the shoulders, going heavy through the chest, dropping down through the mid back, lower back, pelvis. Rolling back up, all the way to the top, resting at the top and dropping back down, all the way back down. If you're comfortable here, continue there, otherwise we're going to go into the marching in this position. So you're rolling back up to that top position. You're going to bring one leg up into tabletop, lower it back down. We're going for five each side, that's one. Keep the hips up. Two, pressing hands down into the mat. Three. Four. Last one. Five, stay up, we're going to go five on the other side. One, float that leg up like it's filled with helium. Two, three, four, last one, and five. Rolling down through the chest, mid back, lower back, down to the pelvis. We're going to get straight into our chest lift from here. So again, interlacing the fingers behind the head and neck, elbows in your peripheral vision so that you've got a bit of a hammock of support for that head. Press your head into your hands and your, head, your hands into your head just for a bit of extra support. Legs stay in the same position as you were for your bridging. You breathe in to prepare. As you breathe out, curl up the head, neck and shoulders. Good, breathe in, bring the arms long reaching behind the legs, pull yourself up that little bit further, maintain that position, breathing in, bring the shoulders back, breathe out, lower yourself back down, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, curl the head, neck and shoulders, breathe in, reach the arms long behind the legs, breathe out, pull yourself up that little bit more, breathe in, maintain that position, maintain that curl, breathe out, lower back down. Good, that's two, we're going for 10. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. 
Breathe in, reach the arms nice and long behind the legs. Breathe out, pull yourself up that little bit further. Hold there, breathe in, bring the arms back. Breathe out to lower down. That's three. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, curl the head, neck and shoulders. Breathe in, reach the arms long. Breathe out, pull yourself up. Breathe in, bring the hands back behind the head. Breathe out to lower down, that's four. We're gonna go a bit faster. Breathe in, breathe out as you curl. Breathe in, reach the arms long. Breathe out as you reach. Bring your hands back as you breathe in. Breathing out to lower. Let's go again. That's six, four to go. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, reach the arms long. Breathe out, curl yourself up more. Breathe in, hold that position. Breathe out as you lower. In to prepare. Out as you curl. Reach the arms long as you breathe in. Breathe out, curl yourself up a bit more. In as you reach the arms back. Lower back down, your tummy should be nice and warm now. Three more to go here. Pull yourself up that little bit more. Good, hold there, this is the time. Work through that burn. Two to go. Back down. Last one, breathe in to repair. Breathe out, curl up. Breathing in, reach the arms long. Breathe out as you peel up. Breathing in, bring the hands back. Breathe out, coming back down. Bring your legs into your chest. Give yourself a bit of a hug. Your core should be on and working hard right now. Our next uh, exercise that we're going to go through is the hundreds. So in this position, same start position as your chest lift. However, your arms are on the mat, reaching long away from your shoulders. Try and reach the wall by your feet. Reach really long, extend those arms long as you perform your chest lift to start so you breathe in to prepare as you breathe out curl up that head neck and shoulders and hover the arms towards your feet reach them long maintain this position we're going to breathe in for five breathe out for five while you're breathing in i want you to pulse those hands really try and push through Imagine that you're paddling through water and it's really hard to push through that water. Breathing in for five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five. Keep that head, neck and shoulders peeled off the mat. Eye gaze between your thighs. Keep that pulsing. Pushing down, trying to push as hard as you can. Palms facing down, pushing the mat away. Keep that pulsing up. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Keep that breath. In for five, out for five. In for five, out for five. Keep going, keep going, working hard. Good, rest the arms down, lower the head back down. Massage the abs if you need, if you're working hard. All right, if you're comfortable with that, maintain legs on the mat for the next round. If you wanna challenge yourself that little bit more, you're gonna bring your legs up into that tabletop position. Imagine that your spine is Velcro and it's stuck to the mat as your legs stay up. You're going to reach your arms long, curl the head, neck and shoulders up, and we're going to go back into our pulses. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in for five, out for five. Good. Keep your head, neck and shoulders peeled off the mat. If you're struggling, lower those legs down. Keep going, you're doing well. 
Push the mat away, active through the arms, reach them long. Keep pushing that mat away. Peel up, can you peel up that little bit further off the mat? Get those tummy muscles really engaged, really working here. Last five, four, three, two, one. Rest the arms, float one leg back down. <sighs> Massage the tummy, bring the legs in close. Give yourself a, a bit of a hug, you did well. That's a hard exercise. From here, I'm gonna get you to stand up and we're gonna go into the assisted roll up. What you wanna be doing for this one is sitting up nice and tall on your sit bones, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and you're gonna support your arms underneath your thighs. So really kind of push your hands into the back of your thighs and push your thighs into your hands. So you get a bit of co-contraction, a bit of work through both arms and legs. From here, you're gonna tilt your pelvis back as if you're rounding your back. You're gonna lower down one segment at a time, rolling down. When you feel like your feet need to lift, allow them to. And you're gonna roll down and your feet are gonna come into that tabletop position. From here, you're almost doing a chest lift. So you're gonna peel head, neck and shoulders up. Push the thighs into your hands to help you and you're gonna roll back up into your sitting position. We're gonna repeat that again. So hands pushing into thighs, thighs pushing into hands, tilting that pelvis backwards, rounding out as if you're a beach ball, rounding out through the whole back, lowering yourself down when your feet need to lift, allow them to lift. Left, resting the head on the mat, bringing your legs up into tabletop. We're gonna go again, so pushing hands into thighs, thighs into hands. Go into that chest lift, peeling head, neck, shoulders up. Push the legs away from you and allow yourself to roll up into that sitting position. We're gonna go again, rolling down, curling the spine into that beach ball. Rolling down when the legs need to lift, allow them to lift and resting the head back onto the mat. Push your hands into your thighs, thighs into hands. Try and reach your legs long Curling up head, neck and shoulders, rolling back up into that sitting position. Take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, curl your tummy. Curl into that beach ball position, rolling down, allowing the legs to lift. Breathe in at the end. Breathe out as you peel, head, neck, shoulders up. Push those legs away, push them away, allow them to drop. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna go again, curling down. Imagine you're that beach ball. You wanna curl into that beach ball. Roll down, allow the legs to lift, resting the head on the mat. Breathe in here to prepare. Breathe out, curl the head, neck and shoulders up. Push the legs away, push them into your hands. That's gonna help you with that momentum to help you get up. Sitting up nice and tall, breathing in. Breathe out, curl down, curl, curl, curl. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time until you're resting on the mat. Breathe in down here to prepare. Breathe out, curl head, neck and shoulders up. Push the legs into your hands, push them away, push them away as you curl up. Up into that sitting position. We're gonna go for two more here. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, curl down. Round the spine out like that beach ball. Lowering down one segment at a time. Allow the legs to lift. Relax down here. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out as you curl head, neck and shoulders up. Push the legs into your hands. They're gonna help you get up. And then come up into sitting. We've got one more here. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, curl your, sp your spine. Round it out, roll down. From here, I'm gonna get you to lower one leg at a time and then extend them long. We're gonna go into the full roll up. What you're gonna do here, breathe in, arms up, breathe out, arms behind you. 
legs nice and long, arms overhead. You're going to breathe in here, bring your arms back to ceiling. As you breathe out, you're going to go into that chest lift position, leading from the arms. So eyes, eye gaze, always following your hands. So you're going to breathe out, lift, head, neck and shoulders. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time, sitting up nice and tall. Then you're going to go into a stretch, reaching towards your toes. Sitting back up nice and tall on your sit bones. And then like you did with the assisted roll up, you're going to curl the spine into that beach ball position and allow yourself to lower one vertebrae at a time, reaching the hands up to the ceiling and then back overhead. We'll go through that one again. Breathing in, reach the arms up to the ceiling, breathing out, going into that chest lift, curl the head, neck and shoulders. Sitting up nice and tall when you get to the top. Reaching to the toes. Get a nice stretching through here. Coming back up to sit tall on those sit bones. From here, keep your eye gaze facing forward as you roll the pelvis back. Roll down through the lower back, mid back, onto your shoulder blades. Reach the hands up to the ceiling and then back overhead. Breathe in to bring that hands up to the ceiling. Breathe out, going to that chest, lift head, neck and shoulders. Breathe out, it'll help you get up. Breathe in, sit nice and tall. Breathe out, curl through the spine, reach to your toes. Breathe in, sitting back up nice and tall. Breathe out to curl back down into that beach ball, eye gaze facing forward. And breathing in to bring the hands back overhead. Breathe out to rest here. Breathe in, reach those arms nice and tall to the ceiling. Breathe out, go into that chest lift, curl head, neck and shoulders up. Breathe in to sit nice and tall. Breathe out, go into that leg stretch. Breathing in, stacking back up nice and tall. Breathe out, go into that beach ball, curl the spine, rolling back from the pelvis, lower back, mid back, shoulders. Bring the arms back overhead. I'm going to go for two more, breathing in, reaching the arms long. Breathe out, curl, head, neck, shoulders up. Go, 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 you've got this. Breathe in, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe out, reach for the toes. Breathing back in, sitting up nice and tall. Breathing out, rolling back down. Giving your spine a nice massage, one segment at a time, reaching the arms overhead. You've got one more here. Breathing in, reach the arms to the ceiling. Breathe out, curl the head, neck and shoulders. Bring yourself up, go, 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 you've got this. Breathe in, sitting nice and tall. Breathe out, reaching long towards the toes. You should get a bit further this time than when you started. Breathe in, sitting up nice and tall again. Breathe out, curling back down through the lower back, mid back, and then reaching your hands back overhead. Good job. You did well, that's a hard one. Our next exercise is going to be on our tummy. So with this one, you want to have legs long, hands by your shoulders, and hovering your nose just off your mat. Your arms are going to be in that grasshopper leg position. So elbows pointing towards your toes, hands by your side. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out as you watch a marble rolling across your mat. Follow that marble rolling towards the wall, pushing up through the hands and just lifting until you touch the lower ribs to the mat. And then coming back down. Breathe in, imagine that you're a little turtle, turtle coming out of your shell. You want your neck to reach long as you breathe in, breathe out. Watch that marble rolling along your mat and push up until your ribs touch the mat. Breathe out. Allow yourself to lower. Breathe in to prepare. Extend the, the spine nice and long. Breathe out. Watch that marble come up. Keep watching it as you go up to the lower ribs. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Come back down. This is a great one if you've been at the desk all day. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Watch that marble. Breathe in here. Breathe out, come back down. Breathe in to repair, extend the, the neck nice and long. Breathe out, pushing up through the hands just to your lower ribs. 
come back down. Let's do a few more of those, following that marble nice and long, pushing the mat away from your hands, coming back down. Two more here, following that marble along the mat. You should get a little bit more movement each time you do it. One more for me, pushing the mat away, reaching nice and long, coming back down. From here, we're going to go into the full swan. What that is, is hands stay exactly the same position. You're going to push up, following that marble. This time, you're not stopping at lower ribs. You're going to try and extend the elbows nice and long. Looking forward, should get a nice curve through your back. And then lowering back down. So we're getting a bit more movement through the entire back this time, not just the upper back. Keep your core on through this, so suck your belly button towards your spine. Good, you're doing well. A few more here. Push up through the mat. Slide that mat forward. Try and push it away. Go up as far as you can tolerate. Keeping your core nice and active. Keeping that belly button drawn towards your spine. Keep following that imaginary marble that's rolling along the mat. Follow that along, it's going up the wall. Looking forward. Coming back down. Following that marble, coming back underneath the nose. Last one here. And coming back down. Really good, let's go into a child's pose to rest. Have a stretch. Reaching forward, sinking back into the hips. Having a nice stretch through here. From here, bring your right hand towards the right side of your mat. Left hand sits on top. Pull back through your right hand, pushing the left hand away. You should feel a nice stretch through your left underarm. Good, and then crawl the left hand to the left side of the mat. Allow the right hand to rest on top. Pull the left hand away, pulling the right hand towards you. You should feel a nice stretch to the right side now. Go, you're going to lift that leg. 
Come back down, slide it back in. We're going to go to the left leg, reach the left leg long as far as you can, add the lift, lower back down, slide in, same with the arms, reach the right arm long, add your lift, lower back down, come back in, left arm reaching long, lifting, coming back down, lowering. If you're comfortable here, stay with that, otherwise we're going to make it a bit more challenging. You're going to go opposite arm to opposite leg. So we're going to go left arm, right leg, reaching long, slide, slide, slide. You're going to combine, add the lift, lower back down, come back in. We're going to alternate left leg, right arm, reaches long, add that lift, come back down, slide it back in. Remember you've got that hot cup of tea or you've got your champagne flutes resting on your back and your pelvis. You don't want to spill that. Making sure you're pushing away from the mat on the arm that's resting. Reaching long, adding that lift, coming back in. Good job guys, keep it up, doing well. Keep that core engaged, draw that belly button towards the spine. side. One. Two. Last one each side. And three. Good job sinking back down into that child's pose. Give yourself a nice big stretch. go into a side lift now. So there's two ways that you can be doing your side lift. First option is the easier option. You're going to have your bottom leg bent, forearm on the floor and you're going to press up into a plank from here. Second option, a little bit harder, uh, hand just in front of the shoulder. You can either have feet staggered or stacked on top of each other and you're going to press up into a side plank position here. So try the two, see what is more comfortable for yourself. I personally like the staggered foot position because I'm a bit wobbly when I come up on top. Um, so what you're going to do is find the position that works for you and then we're going to come up into that high plank position. So you should be a nice ski slope. The top end at your head, coming down to your feet. We're going to hold that. Three, two, one. Lower back down. We're going to do five of those. Coming back up. Three, two, one. Back down. That's two. Three, two, one. Three. Back up. Three, two, one, come back down. Last one. Three, two, one, come back down. We're going to swap sides from here. So, finding that position that works for you. Feet staggered, feet stacked, all resting on the elbow. We've got five lifts here. Ready, and lift. Nice ski slope. Coming back down. Let's go again. Three, two, one. Come back down. That's two. Three, two, one. Come back down. Two more to go. Three, two, one. One more. 
Let's go, last one. Three, two, one. Coming back down. Awesome job. All right, our next position, we're gonna be starting standing up. And following on from last week, you're gonna go down into your roll down. Head, neck and shoulders come first. Rolling down. If you're tight through the hamstrings, allow the bend, knees to bend. Hands on the floor. You're gonna take four steps with your hands. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go into five push-ups. You can either stay on your toes for this or down onto your knees. Elbows are gonna stay narrow, so they're gonna glide back along your tummy or along your sides. They're not gonna be flaring out to the sides. We've got five push-ups here. One, two, three, four, five. Up into that plank position. You're gonna stick your bum up to the ceiling. You're gonna walk back four times. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go into the roll up. Start from the pelvis first, rolling up to standing up nice and tall. We're gonna go again. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, curl head, neck and shoulders down. Going down through the spine, rolling the pelvis. Allow the hands to drop to the floor. We're gonna walk out four times. One, two, three, four. Drop the knees if you need. Another five push-ups, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Up into that high plank. Bum to ceiling, walking back four, three, two, one. Straighten the knees, allow the pelvis to roll. Rolling up, head, neck and shoulders. And that's it. Good job, give yourself a pat on the back. That was a really hard workout today. I hope you're all sweating, you're feeling your core, got a bit more mobility through your spine. Um, make sure that you're recovering with enough water, doing some stretches, some foam rolling, um, and we will see you next Wednesday.